Thank you. I have been in the same chair as Temple's mom. Our family of four, Alan, my husband, who is very dedicated in his willingness to support our family through the journey of autism, myself, and our two sons, Ryan, who is an avid reader, he's 15, and Evan, our child with autism, is nine. Evan is a happy child with some verbal communication, hyperactivity, and extreme sensory needs. But being a true farm boy, he loves being outdoors working with his dad, climbing haystacks, riding on the tractor, and sitting on the roof of our shed. When he's not in, outside, he's inside playing with toy farm equipment, trains, tools, and looking at atlases. We live in a, on a small farm in a rural area, which has meant living with limited resources locally, a lack of experience on the part of most dealing with him, and no services for his autism. The farm just can't pick itself up and move, so we had to look out of the valley for his needs. With his diagnosis, the internet became our friend through countless hours of research. This has helped us to be his voice, to find the options and the resources that are available, as well as to pave the path to his future. This is how we found Sewell's autism camp. At Sewell, we see Evan's enjoyment and progress during the five days of camp. He is accepted and valued for who he is as a person. The team members work with what he can do. Their experience working with children of different ages, situations, and various levels of autism is a valuable resource. Their insight is amazing. They problem solve to find practical solutions to meet his sensory needs. We have been able to make a sensory necklace to help him with those sensory needs from one that had been designed for a use while Evan was at camp. And this has been very calming for him as it gives him something to do while he waits. The team helped him develop new skills, such as how to get another person's attention appropriately. Evan is now putting his hand on my shoulder and making eye contact to get my attention at the table. Being included in activities such as practicing asking and answering questions, deciding on recipes, going to the grocery store, and playing in the fountain at the park have helped him to develop the vital social skills that he needs. This in turn builds upon and strengthens our work with him at home as we take him out into the community to restaurants, museums, and parks. He also gets support and proper direction at Sewell. We see the improvements from it. One example is giving Evan enough time to process and then respond to a request. When we do this at home, he can follow through with what was asked. Another example is keeping things structured for him so he knows what comes next. It eliminates a lot of frustration for all of us. Evan is genuinely happy those five days. He is saying more short sentences, and the loud noises he makes and the yelling has decreased. As a family, Sewell has helped us in many ways. We feel valued as a family from the support we receive at the parent classes. The discussions each day are encouraging because our feelings and emotions are validated. They help us to realize that we are not alone in our struggles. It has helped me to acknowledge and deal with the loneliness of advocating for Evan's rights at school. We have learned that his behavior is not his fault, but how others react to or handle it can impact whether it escalates or declines. Sewell has given us ideas to get what he needs and to keep pushing for those, such as getting his needs met, inclusion, doing the things he's able to do and seeing his potential, while at the same time giving him the assistance needed to attain it. At camp, we are able to meet other families from different backgrounds, which gives us a realistic view of what being on the spectrum means. The classes have provided immediate practical help. One way has been learning about the importance of supporting his sensory needs throughout the day with sensory activities. We have applied this by letting him roll on a large spiky ball, jump on the trampoline, and explore musical instruments such as drums, xylophone, and harmonica. This enables Evan to regulate his senses so he can relax, which means all of us can relax. The benefits are ongoing. For instance, we learned that pairing a visual with ver verbal accesses two areas of the brain, which is good. 
at home, using the visuals such as pictures or sign language with our verbal communication is calming for Evan because it enables him to focus. This makes an incredible difference during public outings. It reduces stress for the whole family, and we can enjoy the activity. Another is how pictures with the written word underneath the object develops good reading skills. His reading skills are developing, and it assists his participation in chores around the house, which impacts our family in a positive way. And it is also building the steps towards independence as an adult. The relationship that is developing with his brother is gratifying and fun to watch. As he echoes what his brother says, Evan is also making eye contact with him. And those moments put smiles on both their faces. And to quote Ryan, it makes me happy. In conclusion, Sewell has given us hope. A group home does not have to be his destiny. There is so much ahead for Evan, and his future is yet to be written. And we truly appreciate the hard work and dedication of all the team members. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, Sewell.